Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We've got some leaks, we got some news about the ever exciting FC24 promo future stars. We got icons, we got players that are leaked, but we also have some questions because the leaks seem a little bit different than what we were maybe expecting and who we really thought of as a future star. We're going to break that down today, look at those confirmed players, and take a look at what could happen today on this game. I know the content's been a drag, but there's an SBC that's refreshing today that might make for some profit opportunities and an SBC that you might want to craft. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's start with yesterday's content and look at this Evo. Man, I'm disappointed once again in a evolution that is tailored to a small number of cards it is again an l evo when it's again heroes or icons and now a is this our first ever promo specific where you're supposed to put in a promo player like at least one of the first promo specific evos we've had this year also what is this name mystery of the goo i mean that is one heck of a name and guys the card that you see right here was an objective card like the first or the second week of the game this geo reina if anybody still has it in their club this is the best evo to do out of this at least it's free and it's not that hard to do but there are so few cards that fit into this evo you do get the radioactive card design which in my opinion i would have rather kept the regular rttk one uh just because I don't know, man. The Radioactive, yes, has great benefits, but, you know, this card design is just not the best color for sure. Now, these are the cards that fit in this Evo, and to be honest, guys, this Evo only upgrades pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling. That is it. It does not touch defense. It does not touch physical. So, really, it's only worth it to upgrade an attacking or a midfield-type player. I would say Acuna is the only one as a defender that actually looks pretty cracked after you Evo his card. So, like... It's Acuna, it's Gio Reyna, it's Mertens. Uh, I have Dest in my club, and I don't even want to upgrade my Dest because I would rather wait for maybe another Evo down the line that he might fit that would actually boost his defense and physical um, to a higher stat. Now, of course, you do get the pinged pass plus, but yeah, guys, I think this Evo is just kind of mid, and I don't want to even talk about it for that long because I think for a lot of people, it's just not quite good enough. I'm, again, hoping for more Evos in the future maybe future stars is going to give us more cool evos but even when i think about future stars i think about taking a lower rated card like i am right here in the fast forward evo and taking it to somebody higher rated but i want more evos that are like give me my 80 like this like wing wizard and the right side star let me take somebody who maybe i've already evoed this like 83 4 5 6 rated and take them to like an 88 89 with a solid boost those are the types of evos even if they're paid that i think i'm wanting more right now in this game the evo content has kind of fallen off i don't know if any of you guys agree with that um but that's how i'm feeling about that evolution from yesterday and uh yeah let's move into sbcs because there was some interesting stuff in here first of all we're gonna start with our player sbc coates was dropped yesterday and guys 95 physical and 90 defense like this man looks like an absolute wall six foot five with bruiser plus you are not going to be able to push him off the ball i know the links aren't that great it's an 85 rated squad and it's a live card if you got a couple 85s in the next 10 days laying around in your club or if you're crafting it with an 83 times 10 maybe maybe just do it just for the fun of it because if they get upgrade or if they move on in europa league and end up getting this card some upgrades. I mean, imagine like, imagine a 97 or 8 or maybe even 99 physical Coates if they're able to go that far. That would be kind of crazy, right? So, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if you run any League of Portugal links, Uruguay links as well, that's a pretty cheap SBC. It's an 85 rated squad, which is decently craftable, but just annoying enough that probably some of us will not do it. Now, the SBC yesterday that was, I guess, the most interesting, I did end up doing it, and I got a good pull, but guys... The more and more that we see these types of SBCs, the more and more you really just don't want to do them. Uh, we call these scam pain player picks because they are le legit scams, right? I mean, I saw so many of these SBCs yesterday opened up and it was just 86 rated players like uh, Taram, Dynasties, uh, Zidane, Goalkeeper, Dynasties, like... Man, these are not really good on the pack weight. I don't think anybody does this sort of SBC and realistically expects to get something good. Now, I got Team of the Group Stage Musiala, which I got lucky. I'll be completely honest. Most of the ones that we saw yesterday were not very good. So if you got something good from this, consider yourself insanely lucky. It's, again, kind of the mantra we go with with these player pick gamble SBCs. Yes, they're fun to do, and I have nothing against doing them. You just can't expect anything massive, right? That's where you got to set the expectation for 81,000 coins as well. It's a little expensive to just think about getting an 86-rated card 
or 87, maybe an 88 rated card for fodder. So it is craftable though right now with the 83 times 10. So I'm not going to complain about it too much. And it is fun. It's a fun player pick to do. But if you're low on fodder, this is one you probably want to pass on. And there was no inform requirement in this yesterday, which I think some people were hoping for. Inform prices, though, are still very stable because we have the 83 times 10 that was re-released yet again yesterday three times. And I think informs are 24K. Almost 25,000, yeah, 24,000 coins, almost 25K. They could go up more today with just the, again, the refresh, the 83 times 10, and the other SBCs are refreshing today. So keep an eye on informs. If I had them, I would lazy list them um, and probably want to sell them before probably Thursday, just because that's when we get towards the end of the week and then people are going to start to sell the informs that they have and you have the supply from the weekend and then the 83 times 10 goes away as well. That's the big thing, right? Sell before the 83 times 10 goes away, which we do have today and tomorrow left, I believe, on that SBC. Fodder in general, though, I don't think moved too much, but we're going to talk about a fodder investment potentially to make some coins today here in just a little bit as well. Now, there was another part of content yesterday that wasn't actually released yet, but we got to talk about it because it is a title update and I'm sure you heard about it. A lot of people are talking about it. The biggest thing about this title, there's two things about this title update. The first thing I want to show you is here is that it is shown for old gen first. It's mentioned for PS4 and for Xbox One. But if you look at the fine print, it will also be coming to um next gen it says title update 9 will be released on other platforms in the near future this is what happened with the last title update they put it out on old gen first and then new gen i think was either a couple of days later or like a week later but i think this update is going to start to roll out maybe today maybe tomorrow um if you're on old gen so these are the big things about this hopefully this evolution uh little tidbit here this little bullet point about evos maybe fixes the patrick who evo that's been completely messed up i have a card in patrick who that i can't put in anything else if any of you guys have a card that just keeps glitching out on you is probably that evolution it needs to be fixed so many people are having problems with that um and i hope this is nothing to do with i don't know what this is to do honestly they i think they fixed or patched the uh the evo glitch kind of or in this their way of doing it is adding that extra requirement is you can't put an in progress evo in maybe this is also a part of that the evo glitch situation we'll have to see this will be a big thing for a lot of people that enjoy evos but here's the biggest things right a lot about play styles play styles guys which actually they removed something from here this is edited guys hold on a minute because before in the gameplay section there were five bullet points let's cover this and then talk about it in a second they have three bullet points here about the outside of the foot shots for playstyle plus and uh regular playstyle trivella playstyle plus they are nerfing it guys reducing the effectiveness for those outside the foot shots moderate moderately reduced that's like not even like minor it's moderately reduced outside foot shot accuracy and reduced the maximum potential of top spin on the ball that can be provided from an outside of the foot shot so they are nerfing the trivellas guys that is in short what it is and to me i know that i'm kind of comparing this in my mind to when they nerfed the finesse shots earlier on in the year and everybody panicked and i remember graham hansen's card remember that guy's her trailblazers graham hansen went down like four th three four thousand hundred thousand coins it was a crazy crazy drop on that card there was so much panic now this is a card right now that is down a little bit because of the trivella patch as you call it but it really, I don't know, there's not that much of a panic on it right now. I think it's also because of the state of the game that we're in at the moment. Not a lot of people are super excited to play the game and maybe not even that hyped for this patch. Um, and I don't know if Trivellas were as popular as the Finesse Shot for sure, especially as that was earlier on in the game with a lot of hype right now. We're in the middle to latter stages of the game with less hype on the game in general right now post team of the year. So I think there's going to be a lot less panic for this in general. Um... But it is a big update, and I know a lot of people, maybe you rock Modric still in your team, or maybe you're just used to doing those Trivella shots. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't think I had a problem with the Trivellas because I didn't feel like I came up against them too often. Now, I know I'm not in the Elite Division, and I know there's definitely people that abuse that mechanic because it is probably too OP. But I liked it as an opportunity to score different goals and score goals other than just driving down the byline and passing it back across the box. Now, with that being said... There was a bullet point in this exact Trello board. I, I'm, I'm, Guys, I looked at this on the stream yesterday. There were five bullet points. And one of the bullet points said that they improved AI 
for cutbacks and passes. And as I look through here, unless they moved it to another section, which would make zero sense, um, guys, it's not there anymore. Like, I literally just opened up this tab, um, and it doesn't say if it was updated or anything like that, but there was another bullet point here. Um, I think if you go back and look at some other YouTube videos, like I watched the Inception video yesterday and he talked about that. That was one of the bullet points in there and now it's gone. So that's interesting because there was literally a, a wordage in here that said that they were going to increase AI um, defending and make AI defend better in the box to try to help those across the box passes and uh, stuff down by the goal for like cutbacks and stuff. So the fact that that is gone is very interesting. We'll see if anything about that updates. So that's a small thing, but something worth noting because that is different from what it was before. But if you have a Trivella Plus card like that Modric, maybe like the Diani, uh, the Diani is probably the face card for that, right? Like this is a card that so many people are super stoked about because it has the double play style plus. I think, I think that the Trivellas will still be good, but it looks like it is a bigger nerf than the finesse shots. So I think they will also be noticeably not as good. I have to imagine and I'm no gameplay pro, but I've scored plenty of Trivella shots with like Hullet, who doesn't have the playstyle plus, but still the animation and he hits the shots really clean. So maybe I won't be able to hit those with him anymore. I don't abuse them, so it doesn't matter to me too much. But what? how are we going to score now? That's my question. Like, okay, what's going to become popular? Just spamming crosses into the box with power header and aerial playstyle players with whipped pass plus. Is that what's going to become popular or over the top through balls with pace? Because I found some success with those recently. So I don't know. Again, I'm not a gameplay guy, but that is something that I start to think about and it impacts the market as well because if it becomes a crossing meta, some of those players with whipped pass plus and even some of the player species that have been out recently, people are going to be completing those at a higher rate if that becomes what is the most popular thing to do so we'll be on the lookout be on the watch out and see of course after that patch is put out how the gameplay is reacting now let's talk about what we came to the video for today guys future freaking stars okay we talked about in yesterday's video that there were future stars icons that were coming to this game and we were confused at least i was confused i still am we have no answers but future star icons are still coming to this game and we have one solitary leak as of right now, we're probably going to get more today. Guys, I've changed the background color to pink, right? Future Stars cards are always kind of like pinkish purple. We're ready, all right? I'm ready for Future Stars. Let's start off with the Icon League. You may have seen it. It is Ronaldinho. He is our first and probably going to be the best cover star, not cover star, future star icon. Ronaldinho is getting a card, guys. Now, the question is, still, what in the world is this going to be about are these going to be little bro icons because like future stars or like low rated players that end up getting you know boosted up with this promo i don't know is it going to be a little bro and a big bro are there going to be two different versions also a great question guys we have no idea at this time um i can't imagine though that um this is going to be an SBC. like if it was an SBC, then i would think little bro think about like zidane and hold it, right? We had little bro versions for very expensive icons. This is definitely going to be impacts based off of the leaks and impacts icon Dino. And in my opinion, if it's impacts, it's either going to be a little bro and a big bro or a big bro, because that's what sells the packs, the biggest, the best possible card. So that's what I'm thinking for Ronaldinho. Um, I mean, this has got to be a two play style plus Ronaldinho, right? Because his base icon card has got the Trickster plus play style, of course. And the Thunderstruck has the Quick Step. And this is interesting because Thunderstruck icons don't seem like they were from that long ago. I mean, that was Black Friday and Dino had that card. And now he's getting yet again another one. So I think 95 rated is very believable. And think plus ones over this card. Double play style plus for sure. Maybe they make him five star, five star. That would be crazy. That'd be really, really crazy. He's going to be mega expensive. I just don't know what they would give him for an extra play style plus and if they would give him Trickster or Quick Step. So probably I'd have to guess it'd be like Trickster and either Finesse or Trickster and imagine Technical Plus on Neymar or Ronaldinho. That would be insane. Um, yeah, that would be that'd be absolutely mental. So that's our icon leak right now. So we're going to watch out and look for some more news information on that. Like a loading screen could tell us a lot. Maybe some leaks would be able to tell us as well. If there's two different icon designs that are tweeted out right now, the designs for future stars are not here in the game. They will probably be soon, but let's get to the other leaks. And guys, we're starting to get some players in here that we're expecting, right? Garnacho. That was the United future star that I thought was going to come. A lot of people asked about Mainu, asked about Hoyland. I think Garnacho was kind of always going to be the guy because as we can kind of look through these leagues, 
EA has a way that they go about these future stars. Garnacho is the guy, man. He's going to get a big upgrade, guys. He's going to be one of the highest rated and biggest cards in this promo, I think. He's already had an inform this year, and I used it. It's got Acrobatic Plus. It was actually a really solid card. It's three-star, four-star. So will he have five-star skills? Will he be four-star, five-star? All we know about future stars every single year is that they boost these cards up, right? They boost these cards to the moon because they make them they make them good it, it, the whole point is again to take a player who is a potential budding star and give them that card that they might become in the future so two play style pluses i think is a must especially for the top tier higher rated cards in future stars so that one was definitely expected that's going to be a card that a lot of people will be going after for sure let's go on to some more leaks are the guler this one I'm kind of excited for because I think he could be really meta in game as a center attacking mid. Imagine two play style pluses on this card. His base gold looks kind of cracked anyway. When you look at the base play styles that are on it, let me just pull it up right now. Arda Gulera. I know some of you guys have evoed this card because he's been very popular for evos. Finesse, incisive, long ball, whipped, pass, and technical with flair. Those are great play styles. So you give him one, maybe two play style pluses of any of those, add a couple more in there. Combine that with already having four-star skills and a three-star weak foot, so maybe like four-star, four-star, or five-star, four-star would be very possible with cam, center mid, and right wing for different positioning options. This is going to be a really good card, and he's a true, this is what I would call a future star, man. He's 18 years old, and he's in this game, and that's a future star to me. As we take a look at some of these other leagues, that's where I'm starting to like, I don't know, question it a bit because i think some of us are thinking of some other players and younger players but ea has gone for maybe somebody who we wouldn't even call as a future star and this is the first one that i want to show you doku to me doku yeah he's still a future star but like he's already kind of cemented himself as like a really solid player now i know it's only in recent times like this year with manchester city but like Last year, we had Julian Alvarez. He kind of cemented himself last year as a legit player already. Last year, of course, in FIBA 23, we had Gavi. And I think as I compare this to some of the future star teams of like FIFA 19, FIFA 20, back then it felt like those were true future stars. Like they were almost all 18, 19 years old, really young, and like hadn't seen a lot of game time, but were really hyped for the future. Some of these guys are still that way, like Arda Guler. And I'm not saying I'm not hyped for Doku. I'm just saying that it seems like EA is trying to make sure they give out these cards to players who deserve a future stars. And maybe they've been a future star for already a couple of years, like Doku, right? He went off at the Euros. That's when a lot of people started to know about him, transferred to City, and now he's performing really well. Like, this is going to be a sick card. He's going to be insane. He's already had multiple promo cards this year that have been wild and so OP. He's going to be good. But another one that I'm a little bit, I'm shaking my head a little bit and, and scratching my head is Balde. For Barca, I mean, I know a lot of you guys would have maybe wanted to see if you're a Barca fan, like Yamine Lamal, Vito Roque, um, but specifically for Lamine Yamal and Roque, they're not even in the game. And I think that's going to be some of the problem with some of these players that you guys might be dreaming up that you want to see or that we want to see in future stars is that some of these guys are too young to be in the game or they're just not in the game at all. And that's kind of the problem. Now, of course, EA could be doing squad updates to add a couple of players in. They've already started to do some of the transfers during the January window, and they've added new players in. Like, I packed an MLS Emil Forsberg because he transferred to Red Bulls in the MLS, uh, New York Red Bulls. So there's been some changes. I feel like it's really last minute if they were going to do something like that, though. Maybe it could happen. Who knows? But Balde, to me, like, also not really a future star. He's already had a promo card this year. And, guys, he had a team of the season last year. Like, this is the one for me that really got me thinking – I mean, yes, he's a still very young player, budding superstar, you could say. This is a great card, right? A lot of people have used this Winter Wild Cards ball day, but he had a team of the season last year. It kind of it kind of feels weird that, you know, you would think that for a real future star, their first card would be maybe an inform or something, but then they would get the future star and then it would just be up from there, right? Uh, think about like Ansu Fati from other FIFAs when he had the future star, but we're starting to get some players that like, I guess EA, they couldn't put Yamine Lamal in and Victor, Victor Roque, so they kind of had to go with Balde. So under 23, if you guys didn't know, is like the age range for future stars, or it has been before. That's what EA has put on their website. Um, U23 for all these players. Last year or a couple years ago, it was very funny because they put Lautaro Martinez in, and he was... Or there was a promo that was U23, and he was 24 when the time the promo came out, so that was kind of funny. Uh, but I think that's one of the reasons why I'm like, is this really a future star? Like... 
he's in the team a lot. He's playing a lot. But I guess technically to EA, he still kind of is. And he deserves a future star card. So they want to give him that before they give it to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it kind of goes with this. And Doku, like if you're a City fan, you're probably like, yo, where's Oscar Bob? Yo, hit me with a Rico Lewis, right? They could be deserving as well. But EA's like, yeah, those would be guys that would be great for next year because we still have Doku that we can use this year. And, I mean, Doku's only 21. So those are the leaks that we have right now for those players. We Oh, we have a Boniface leak as well. These are all the confirmed leaks, guys. There might be a couple more that are coming out for sure. Um, again, we're going to get players from all the big clubs. We're going to get players from... Bayern, like Matisse Tell. There's so many of you guys that are thinking of players right now as you're watching this video. We're going to get players from Arsenal. We're going to get a player from Chelsea. This is some, oftentimes a two-week promo, and they include youngsters from all the big teams because it's a promo that is so looked forward to in the community. You know, Dortmund, I think, we had, remember at the beginning of the year, they showed Mukoko for all of these um the Evo examples was like Mukoko. I think Mukoko is probably going to get a card because he hasn't got a future stars yet. And yeah, of course, Adiemi is at Dortmund. But, you know, it just makes sense that Mukoko would be getting a card. So watch out for the leaks. Watch out for more news because there's probably going to be some of that coming out. And just to remind you, like looking at some of the cards from last year, this is team one. You had Mudrik. You had Gavi, right? Gavi, even last year, was kind of like playing pretty consistently for Barca. You had Alvarez, Adiemi, Elanga. Gavardiol before his move to City. You got a Future Stars team number two. You had Musiala, who was already cemented in the Bayern team. Kavicha. Uh, you had Enzo. Araujo, who was already playing for uh, Barcelona as well. So it really just kind of reminded me that it was like, all right, Future Stars has changed a little bit from where it has been in, in past years because it's not any longer just like the youngest of the young players that could be stars in the future. It's kind of like young players that maybe have even already kind of become stars, but they're going to get a, a, a future star to kind of like start their FIFA career, I guess, or like their card career. So anyways, that's kind of what I was thinking there. And we'll take a look and try to keep in touch with all of the leaks as they get dropped. I'm just checking Twitter really quick to see if we have any other ones that I missed. And as of right now, it looks like I have not missed any from the guys that we normally look at leaks from now speaking of cards let's talk about this marker right now i didn't trade that much yesterday but this might be a little bit of a turning point in the week this is when one of the days we've been looking forward to i'm gonna look at road to the finals really fast because a lot of these cards are still around the same price some of them are up a little bit darwin is up a little today um fatih is still high sule had one of the biggest jumps he went from 240 250 260 down to 290 um he was between he was around 250 260 and he's up you know, 20 to 30K yesterday. Pedri's starting to rise. Cruz is up a bit. Still, Donnarumma, Gavardiol's up a lot, but he's really rare and really overpriced. Um, Leon Bailey's 220K. A lot of these cards are still in the same range or they're up a little bit. I think today might change that a little bit, guys, because, again, these cards are still in packs. We have some bigger content. SBC refreshes come in today, and then we're going to have more leaks, more information. And then tomorrow on Thursday, I'm hoping um, that some of these cards will dip back down again for a second buy window, maybe even on Friday as well. But I didn't even trade with any of these yesterday, apart from the Zambo and Guises that I still had. There was not that many movements. The market was very, very, like, just dead, I would say. There wasn't a lot of sales. It was just kind of quiet. There wasn't a lot of fluctuations, but I think that's just a good representation of how the game feels right now. But there could be more today because we have a big SBC that's refreshing. This SBC caused a lot of hype on Sunday when it was released. It's this one. The 87 plus base Thunderstruck or Winter Wild Cards icon player pick. It's refreshing today. I didn't do it the first time. Probably won't do it the second time. But people like this because it's an icon pick. It's the same price, um, I guess, SBC rating wise as the last one but of course fodder is up a lot from when this was released two weeks ago and during team of the year um yeah this is still like a 420,000 coin SBC guys but if you remember what happened when this SBC was released on Sunday of last week what happened was all these cards exploded 88 went from by 29,000 coins all the way to 38k and now, of course, they kind of came back down. There was a crazy spike. And I think part of the reason that the 88s went up as high as they did was because the 87s and the 86s were extinct. And right now, they updated the price of these 86s. So they're kind of on the market. 
but they're barely on the market. And yesterday, some of these cards were back down as their price ranges were updated and people were selling them, but a lot of 86s are still 17,000 coins, and they're going to be in demand again today for this SBC, guys. It's an icon pick. People are going to want to do it. So here's what I think today. I think today people are going to be going and buying fodder and doing this pick again because it refreshes and because there's not a whole lot to do in this game, and you can technically start to craft it with the 83 times 10, which is going to get more people to end up doing it. If you want to buy some fodder, I think there's a window today with this SBC refreshing. I like 80, I think I like 88s the most. I like 88s and ooh, some 87s the most as well, because how much were these on Sunday? What did Odegaard do? Odegaard went from 20 to 25k and he's already 23. I like 88s the most, guys, because as you saw on that graph, 88s went to like 38, 37 to 38,000 coins. I mean, I don't know if they go that high. Yeah, 37k for Kimmich. They might not go that high today, but even if they go to like 35 and you get a couple lazy sales at like 36 or 37, I feel like that's possible, especially with a lot of the 86s being still extinct. I mean, 85s could even go up today as well. But I think that anywhere in this 85 to 88 range, if you wanted to risk it a bit, there's a flipping opportunity on some fodder. Get on some bids. I would pay no more than like 31.5 or maybe 32 flat if you have to on 88s. And then hopefully you can sell them for like 36 to 37,000 coins on some lazy sales. And maybe they even go up that high because this SBC refreshing will be hyped because it's an icon player pick. But what I would think is for those fodder cards... I think it would be a quick spike and then I think they would come back down because I think people are going to invest in this today. And I also think people are going to want to get out because with Thursdays come division rivals rewards and marquee matchups. And on Thursdays, every single week, we usually start to see a bit of a drop on fodder. Like usually Wednesdays when people invest in fodder for the week are the days where you sell the fodder because then it drops down Thursday and it drops down Friday again most weeks. Every week is different, but most weeks that's what happens because then on Fridays you get more lighting rounds and more supply. Didn't really happen as much as last weekend because we didn't have great lighting rounds and nobody was opening packs because we were all dead tired of opening packs post team of the year and the start of Road to the Final. So I think there's a trading opportunity with that today. Informs, yeah, I don't think they're going to go up as much. The question for me with informs is though, and even with 86s, this 84 times 11, because this SBC, it doesn't say that it's going to refresh, but I think it on the timer that it was on before, I think it would refresh today. So I don't know. That timer is still there. It still says repeatable zero. The SBC goes away tomorrow anyway. If this comes back today, there's going to be even more demand for 86s. So you'd want to maybe find some 86s or 87s that have a really high price range, and you could maybe flip some of those, get them on bid and uh, list those up and get some crazy sales as people go and do this as well. But I just don't know if this is refreshing today. Again, maybe check on the web app for a double check on that one. Uh, but if that refreshes today, there's going to be a decent amount of fodder demand because you're going to have an icon pick. You're going to have the 83 times 10, the 84 times 5, maybe the 84 times 11, and whatever else they drop today, which I wouldn't expect to be too much more in terms of the upgrade SBCs, but that's a lot of demand. So I think fodder could be a quick flip today, but I think you want to get it out probably in the one to two to three hours after content, because once you get further on than that, I think you will see some prices fall there. So that's kind of my fodder talk for today. Maybe I'll try to pick up a couple of um, 88s on bid, just because this would be a really easy way to try to bid on some cards and maybe make Make a few thousand coins here. Hopefully these go up to like 35 to 36 to 37K. So maybe hop on some bids, get a couple of those if you want to go for that one to down this game. And then again, the road to the finals. I think with all that content, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance that some of these could dip down a little bit and really open up another buy window for some of those cards that we like the most to invest in out of the road to the final, which again, the cards that already have a guaranteed upgrade or cards that are going to play very soon, which would be next week. So that is something uh, to keep an eye on for today and eye out for today as well. There's a lot of people that have invested in these cards. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't expect them to drop that much because there's a lot of people that have invested. I know a lot of you guys are in and you're holding and you may have gotten the lowest price. How much is Donnarumma? Donnarumma continues to be like ooh, 81K. Like that's, you should probably buy that because that's kind of what his low is. He goes down to like 80K and then, you know, you can list him and sell them at like high 80s. I'm gonna list them at 90 for a lazy, but just for that one right there. 
but I don't see these cards dropping a ton. I'm just looking for a little bit of a drop between today and tomorrow, and then we can get back in on some of them. And then uh, on Friday as well, hopefully have them for a rise next week as we start to get those live games in action. Real quick, one last leak for today. New team of the week, as always on Wednesdays. Kavicha is going to be in the team of the week, which, um, yeah, that's the only leak that we have right now. Graham Hansen was the best card in team of the week. Remember, every single team of the card is 85 rated now. That is the new minimum upgrade for team of the weeks is 85 rated, like we saw this, this last week with team of the week 20. So we got team of the week 21 coming today with all 85 rated cards and above. So it's going to put a lot more 85s, 86s, 87s out here on the game. And that reminds me, I need to claim a demarcos that is in my quick sell recovery hopefully it's not been too long because that was a few days ago so yeah guys that's the content for today i'm not expecting anything too big besides the refreshes of course we do have potentially a showdown sbc still don't know what the showdown is for what game it's for but i think there will be leaks coming soon about that so watch out for that and still if you want to grind the market it is grindy like it is grindy the fluctuations aren't that great but if you find the right cards on bids you find the right cards on snipes there's fluctuations. Um, Ramirez was a million coins flat. I don't know if he went high enough to be flippable, but you know, you just have to calculate in your tax and you find rare cards like this. Yeah, Shin goes from like 1.6 every day and you, you can get sales at 1.8. So like if I see this card at 162, I'm going to buy it because I know I can sell them pretty high. That Hyunmin Sun for 615 is an incredible price. I bought one at 650 earlier yesterday. He usually sells for like 720. 710 to 720 so i'm trying to get one out of like 710 so that's kind of all that i'm involved in right now my coins are pretty liquid um i've got like 75 percent of them at the moment besides just a couple cards on the transfer list and uh we'll get back to business when the market moves a little bit more because you got to have some movement and some demand to actually have cards swing other than that it's like it's been the last couple of days where pretty dead so we'll see if ea switches anything up today but i think it's going to be a day of more movements with the content that's going on so if you're excited for that today and you're going to be in the stream today click that link down below in the description to check it all out we'll be live looking at content as always on the game trading getting our last rivals games in seeing what's up with this game and of course looking at all the leaks looking to the future for future stars coming this weekend if you're excited for future stars drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate for the count see you guys in a stream today peace out